National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi there, naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty here, health expert at nationalnutrition.ca. Today I want to talk about mercury detoxification. This is something I do in my practice quite often because I do a lot of neurology in my practice and I run into a lot of patients that have intoxication with this heavy metal called mercury. Uh, it's something that we can get from our environment. Sometimes excessive consumption of certain seafoods can lead to mercury intoxication. It's often found as a contaminant in certain, you know, some foods. It can be a contaminant in certain products and a contaminant in our environment itself. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways that mercury can actually get into our system. You know, you know I talked to many people and oftentimes they had mercury thermometers as kids and when they broke it open, the mercury would ooze out and they would actually play with it because mercury is known as the liquid metal. So it was this, it had these really neat properties of basically being water-like metal. It was like silver water is what it was. And so a lot of people would play with it, not realizing just how toxic it is. And you know, that could be where they got their initial poisoning. And then the human body is not very good at eliminating it. So without support, these people would carry that toxic load of mercury with them throughout their entire life. So how do we know if we've got mercury poisoning? Well, there's a number of symptoms that you may have. The most important thing to understand about mercury is it's a protein poison. It tends to interfere with how nerves are produced. So we get a variety of different neurological uh, conditions. I've seen acute mercury poisoning characterized by you know, pain, tingling, numbness, burning sensations throughout the whole body that just sort, sort of seem transient and moved all over this poor person's body. I've also seen mercury intoxication lead to a lot of developmental uh, issues. I've seen it related to autism spectrum disorders as well as impairments in cognition and, and memory loss. And then I've seen it uh, you know, also with muscle weaknesses and uh, symptoms that looked similar to MS because again, you were getting damage to the neurons, damage to the central nervous system because of this mercury intoxication. So it's a very significant thing. Uh, and actually sometimes mercury uh, can be found in dental amalgam. And you know, if those amalgams break and you swallow them, you can be actually absorbing the mercury out of your dental fillings. As well, if you have two different types of metal in your mouth, say you've got a permanent retainer and you've got a mercury amalgam, what ends up happening is your saliva acts as a, a connector and basically you form a battery in your mouth and what ends up happening is you electri electrically activate the mercury amalgam and that can cause mercury vapors to be released which we then inhale and that can actually be the source of mercury intoxication. So there's a number of different ways that you can be exposed. If you do have the silver amalgams, the mercury amalgams and you want to get rid of them don't just race out to the dentist and say, hey doc, you know, rip these out of my face. You want to make sure it's done up, uh, safely because actually the most dangerous time for that mercury is while it's being removed. It ends up vaporizing and so you want to make sure you go to a dentist who's well trained uh, in mercury amalgam removal, both for your own safety and for theirs because you want to make sure that proper protective equipment is used so that you can minimize any risk of intoxication while that mercury amalgam is being removed. If it's not an amalgam as the cause of the mercury intoxication, you're still gonna to wanna to remove it from the body, um, but what you're gonna be looking at is you know, having to do systemic chelation treatments. So what a chelator is, chelate, to chelate means it's a claw. It basically goes in, grabs that heavy metal, tears it out of the body, helps you eliminate it. And so what you wanna do is take in a variety of chelating agents that can actually remove the mercury out of your system. One of the most effective for this is a herb called chlorella vulgaris. It's a small algae that has a very profound effect at chelating mercury and removing it from the body. So I often use this in practice because it's a very safe, uh, very easy way to chelate out mercury. Additionally, you can supplement with MSM, uh, which is a very good uh, chelator of mercury as well. Or you can look at something called modified citrus pectin um, or fractionated citrus pectin. 
And this also can act as a chelator and is another way that you can remove these heavy metals from your body, uh, specifically the mercury. Uh, other things that you would want to do, ensure you've got adequate selenium in your diet. The thing is your body needs selenium in order for you to metabolize and remove the mercury. And to help the selenium work, you'll probably also want to supplement with some vitamin E as that improves the effectiveness of the selenium. And then last but not least, uh, buffered vitamin C. There's a few studies that have shown that buffered vitamin C may help to your body to eliminate the mercury from your system. So taking in high amounts of, of vitamin C, if nothing else, it's a great antioxidant. It's great for your collagen, but it may even help your body to uh, manage mercury detoxification side effects and may even help your body to eliminate the mercury from your system. So in summary, avoid mercury intoxication whenever you can. If, it is a, if amalgam is the source of your intoxication, go to a dentist specifically trained in proper removal of the mercury amalgam, both for your safety and for theirs. And you know, supplement with something like chlorella, some MSM, you know, and some selenium to improve your body's ability to eliminate this toxin from your body. So I hope this video has helped. Check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.